Uh, good afternoon, YouTube. I wanted to share with you how I added a voltage and current meter to my sine wave power inverter. Some inverters have a built-in meter to show voltage, current, and maybe even power output. Unfortunately, my trip light inverter did not have such a readout. I found this 200 amp DC digital panel meter on eBay. There are many options available. This one has a readout, has one readout and a button to switch between current and voltage. So the first thing I did was connect this 200 amp shunt to the negative terminal of the inverter here. Then this cable connects to the ground bus of my battery bank and then I connected up the meter wires to the shunt and initially I thought I could run the meter off the same 12 volts as the inverter. While I did get it to work this way I found the voltage and current readings were not accurate in this configuration. I tried adjusting the readings with the potentiometers on the back of the meter. There's one for voltage, one for current but I could not get the readings uh, close enough to my liking. So I decided to add an external power supply for the meter. First thought was to plug in a small power supply into a wall outlet and use that to power the meter. But I didn't want to create a needless vampire load, so I decided to look into a DC step-down converter off the battery bank. Uh, since I normally only run the inverter during the day, I didn't really want to have the meter going uh, 24 hours a day, just reading 0, 0.00. So, one idea was to add a switch to turn the meter on and off. Another idea was to get inside the inverter and tap into its power switch. Then I thought about having a relay triggered off the inverter AC output and then use that to turn the meter on and off. But I finally returned to my original idea and that was to use a small ball wart power supply but plug it into the inverter AC output instead of the wall outlet. This power strip is powered off the inverter through that uh, plug right there. I have a bunch of these 12 volt 100 milliamp uh, wall warts and they work great for this type of thing. They use less than a watt. You can see the kilowatts reading zero watts right there. And they give me a regulated 12 volt DC output and turn on and off with the inverter. Now I, and you can see if I turn unplug it, it's off. Plug it back in, it's on. And now I have a reasonably accurate DC voltage and current meter. And it turns on and off with the inverter. Ultimately, I'll be mounting this uh, pan uh, meter into the swing out panel in my solar power shed. I also use these wall warts elsewhere for my solar powered LED lighting. I'll cover that in another video. And if you have any questions, feel free to join the conversation in the comment section below. And be sure to rate and share this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Thanks for watching.